Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at shooting in our game maker tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first step is to create an object. And this object is going to be the bullet that we shoot out of our player. Call O bullet. And we assign that sprite to the S bullet sprite. Here we're going to add a few events. Let's click add event, create, and the first one, we're going to set the H speed equals 30. Now the H speed is an inbuilt game maker function, so this will automatically make the bullet go 30, with a speed of 30. Another one, we're going to go to the other, other outside room, and we're going to say instance underscore destroy. And another thing I want to show you guys is the S bullet sprite that I created. It looks like this. The reason why it's because it has a muzzle flash, and that muzzle flash kind of makes, it gives it a little effect. So I'll show you guys also how to implement that. So when you create it, oh uh, no, basically we're going to use an animation end event. And what this does, when the animation reaches the last sub images, image, in this case for the bullet it's this we're gonna stop the animation so we're just gonna say image underscore speed equals one zero sorry and we're gonna set the sub image which is image underscore index to be the first one the second one sorry so this is zero and this is one quick tick okay so that's it for our o bullet object and let's move over to our o player so on the step event we're gonna add a shooting check. So check for shooting. Okay, let's do shooting. Uh, shooting. So we have a variable called shoot key here. And we're gonna say if shoot key, then something's gonna happen. And before I do this, I'm gonna initialize a variable called cooldown. And once this to false. So the cooldown is basically, um, let's say we're holding, we're holding our mouse down and the bullets are shooting. There's a short interval between each bullet and that's the cooldown. So if shoot key and, we're going to make sure there's no cooldown, cooldown equals false. Then we're going to instance create and we're going to create um, the bullet. And it's at our x and y coordinates. Now when it's created, it automatically moves to the right because of the h speed. Now we're going to say cooldown equals true. So now that we've shot, we want the cooldown to be activated. For, and we're going to trigger an alarm here. For 10 seconds. Now when this alarm goes off, it's going to do something. And that's going to basically deactivate the uh, the cooldown equal false tick and click ok and that's pretty much it I think let's run the game oops oh my bad go into our o player event and make sure that this is a capital yeah sorry about that now let's run our game. Oh, and one thing, make sure this is double equals. That's just better practice. Okay. So we'll shoot it, and boom. We're holding it down. You can see there's regular intervals. We can press, and it shoots normally. But there's always intervals. There's cooldown. So that's the basics of shooting a bullet in our space shooter. Thanks for watching guys, in the next video we're going to be looking at spawning asteroids that are randomly generated and have wave progression. So leave a like and come say hi in the comments and please subscribe because it really helps me out. Thanks and see you next time.